Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome to another video. So today I will be sharing with you my collection of Japanese Gashapon sea animals, okay? So all of these are actually from a little vending machine from Japan. So the first figure right here is actually the North Pacific Giant Octopus. It's a really really nice figure and you can see it's actually from Favorite Co. So highly realistic, it looks absolutely amazing, highly detailed for such a small figure. Of course you are able to put, um, you can take this one out and you can attach to the base very very easily. Very beautiful one, just gonna put this one right here. Next we have the Red Sea Bream, okay? So this is another really beautiful figure from Favorite Co. You can have a look. So it basically says favorite.net right here and it comes with some information but you know they are actually in Japanese so I can't really read them but you can see the length is about 30 to 80 centimeters long okay very nice and this is actually its scientific name Pagras Major very nice and yesterday I mean not yesterday but a few days ago we actually added this penguins to our collection okay so this is the rock hopper penguin really beautiful one and it's actually from wing ching okay and all of this can be removed as well you can actually like you know remove this from the base very very beautiful figure i'm actually displaying this in my shelf right over there okay now let's move on to some shocks if I'm not wrong, this is actually from Takara Tomi Arts. So if you can take a look at this, it basically says T Arts. Comes with a movable jaw, very beautiful, great white shark right here, and comes with a movable tail as well. Awesome stuff. Next, we have a fish. I think this is a what is this? Atlantic blue bluefin tuna. Yes, I remember. This is actually. The Atlantic, oh sorry, not Atlantic, it's a Pacific Bluefin Tuna. And you can see the length is about 60 to 300 centimeters long. And the scientific name is actually known as Tarnus Orientalis. Okay, so it comes with a stand right here. You can pop it right in. Okay. Alright, now let's move on to the next one. We have an emperor penguin right here. This is a really beautiful one that we have just added to our collection a couple of days ago. It is also from this company called Wing Chin. And you are able to remove this and attach it back. Very beautiful. So I'm gonna put all the penguins at the back and um, the sea animals right here. Next, we'll take a look at another shark. So if I'm not wrong, this is also, um, I'm not exactly sure what kind of shark this is. It looks like a basking shark. Yeah, it's also from Takara Tomi. Very beautiful one. Okay. And here's another one from Takara Tomi. This is the hammerhead shark. So it comes with a movable head. The tail can be moved as well. Okay, let's place all the sharks in front. Okay, now let's move on. This is a saw shark. Okay, saw, sh sh saw shark, which is also known as a sawfish. So it comes with a movable tail. The head, I think the head can't be moved, but you can actually remove it. Okay, you can pop it back in as well. You can move it up and down. Okay, let's move on. This is a flat fish, which is a very weird kind of fish because it is lying flat on the ocean seafloor. Let me see whether I'm able to find some information about the flat fish. It is also known as the halibut, and the scientific name is known as Paralichitis olivier shears. I don't really know how to pronounce it, but you get the idea. Yep, it's a flat fish. And um, the size is about 50 to 100 centimeters long. Okay, a very interesting looking fish, that's for sure. Now, let's take a look at this. We have the leopard seal, and the leopard seal is actually chasing after a penguin because they actually feed on penguins for food. And you are able to remove this little penguin from here, you can pop it right back. And this leopard seal can also be removed 
Yep, the figures from this company, it's really really beautiful. So I hope to get more of these minifigures, you know, um, to add to our collection. I think that would be cool. This is a really nice one. It's an Orca, a beautiful Orca. Alright, let's see what else we've got. So we've got a sailfish. I'm trying to find... Yep, it's right here. Indo-Pacific sailfish. Beautiful one. 150 to 300 centimeters long. Very nice. Okay, I can't understand on Japanese, otherwise I'll be able to read the facts for you. Next, we have a beautiful reef squid. And to be exact, it is known as the Big Fin Reef Squid. Beautiful one, 30 to 50 centimeters long. And you can see this reef squid is really, really gorgeous. Okay. I think the tentacles are slightly translucent, which makes it look very, very beautiful. Let's see whether I'm able to insert this in the, the other direction. Okay, seems like this is the direction. Okay, really beautiful one. Let's place this one right here. What do we have right here? I think this is a sea bass. Let me try to find, um, you know, yep, it's a sea bass. Japanese sea bass to be exact. 40 to 100 centimeters long. And of course, you're able to remove this. Pop it back in. Yeah, it looks like a large mouth sea bass that we have in our collection. <coughs> Next, we have a humpback whale. Really nice one. This is actually from Ikimon. Very, very beautiful. I'm gonna put this one right here. And here's another penguin. And this is actually known as the Adali penguin. Very, very beautiful one. You can actually remove this. If I'm not wrong, you're able to remove this entire thing. But it's fine. And here we have the beluga whale. Very beautiful diorama. It comes with a base. And of course, the top right here as well. What is this? Oh dear, I can't remember. I can't remember the name of this um, dolphin. So if you guys know, let me know down below. I think that will be really helpful. And here we have a dolphin. I'm not exactly sure what is the exact species of this dolphin. Emperor penguin chicks right here. Super adorable. So you can see they actually change the color when they grow older. And here we have an orca. The orca has a very long dorsal fin. And the last one is actually a sperm whale. So this is basically my collection of, um, you know, Japanese gashapon sea animals. I definitely hope to increase, to expand my collection. So, yep, let me know whether you guys are, whether you guys love this. Yeah, I will try to get more. Um, yeah, so stay tuned. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.